by the time you're watching this video, I will be back in Newcastle after spending a few nights out in Paris a potentially our final European away game of the season. We have walked away with a 1-1 draw against Paris Saint-Germain in a game where Newcastle deserved three points. We walk away with only one point because of a, a pen decision that wasn't even a pen. Uh, Kylian Mbappé scored an equalizer in the 96th minute and that has been the talking point of the game. And even though many Castle fans are obviously going to be biased in this case, but it is a scandal how it was that a pen. It baffles me, I'm still seething over it now. But of course, you've seen it in the title, you've seen it in the thumbnail, I'm sure you've seen it on social media by now. I was amongst the PSG Ultras yesterday, I was actually with the PSG fans at the game. I've been dressed up in the PSG gear for the occasion. Now, whenever I make these kind of undercover videos, whenever I make these style of videos where I'm putting myself in a potential dangerous situation, I always kind of want to address this now. Um, I know for our Newcastle fans, for example, I've seen some our Newcastle fans in the home and some of them are going, well, I don't know why you want PSG club or what's going on here. Now, one thing I'll always say in my videos is that it tends to happen quite a bit now when it comes towards opposition teams is that I do get recognised by our fan bases. You might sound a bit mad, especially a team like PSG, but trust me, opposition fans recognise me. It's something that it has been happening on a frequent basis. It's even happened in AC Milan. So uh, with PSG Ultras, they're quite well organised. They know what to do. And I was actually involved with an incident the night prior as well. So there was a Newcastle fan group that got attacked. During the night, there were ultras coming over taking videos as ultras putting notes down. It sounds ridiculous, but trust me, this is a well organized group. My face has been spotted out there, and obviously, for me as a content creator, I'm someone that has a reach in social media, therefore, people on social media will recognize me. So, uh, for opposition matches, even though you wouldn't think I get recognized as a game like PSG, uh, I don't, I'm not taking the risk, it's that simple. So, yeah, that was why I was dressed up undercover. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. So I went behind the scenes with the ultras. They're great, but like a really impressive voice inside the stadium. The PSG needed that in the game and for the castle, it kept us on edge. And I thought the players handled it well from a PSG perspective. Incredible fans, the best I've personally seen. So let's show you behind the scenes still. Let's show you how it went. Let me take you back to last night where I actually went with the PSG ultras under cover. <laughs> Some lights in the right there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that last is not a stand. Do you think it's very nice? Uh, you better hope none of these speak good English. All right, so this bar, by the way, on the right, this is where the attack took place last night. So there was that little confrontation just in front of that window there. Castle 
unofficial march to the ground. So the police are directing us towards the, the metro line here. It's about three stops to PSG's ground. So once they get to the train, I know they're safe. I'm going to the hotel room to get changed and go to the opposite side of the fans are there. <laughs> right, thank you very much. As long as all of you enjoy the game, that's the most important part. Now, statistically, Newcastle can go out of the Champions League completely tonight if we lose the PSG and then uh, AC Milan beats Dortmund because of the head to head record, how that works in Champions League. Newcastle could not finish above Dortmund, therefore, we are guaranteed fourth. So hopefully he's in company. I would love to go to the last game at least. So we'll see what happens. Big game tonight. Let's get the hotel room now. Let's get ready. Let's go out and see the PSG fans. We have disguised ourselves for the game tonight. We've got ourselves the PSG gloves. We've got PSG pants. PSG beanie hat. We have a Paris hoodie. I've got a half and half scarf with Newcastle on, of course. So at least I'm wearing something in Newcastle for the game. But we are now undercover. When I leave this hotel room, I will not speak a word of English. Let's go, Paris and Hotel sont devant vous. Pologne, Borelli, ça parle là, s'il vous plaît. Voilà, c'est l'homme à cara. On va se faire pour le cara. On va se faire pour le cara. So far the disguise is working, the ultras haven't detected a thing.
that's one way to get rid of them. I've just spent well over 100 bloody euro getting dressed up as a power stand ultra just just for the referee to bottle it never mind me the referee bottled it tonight oh my god 
but I'm actually livid. Now then you catch the point of view, uh, I can't fault the players at all. They gave 100 percent of the name. A real gutsy performance where you can tell the second half they were just knackered. They tried so hard to stay on it. I didn't know how he did it. But unfortunately, uh they only pushed so much and uh the referee absolutely bottled on. I'm fuming. I'm actually fuming about that. It's not often I get annoyed about a decision because, I mean, honestly, in the 90 minutes of the game, PSG should have had an equaliser before that moment. They've missed so many clear-cut chances. And I wouldn't necessarily say that was a castle defending amazingly well because they did defend well. But PSG, they had some real open chances. They've got to take one of them, especially the, the Mbappe double chance. How has he not scored that? His, his ability as well, one of the world's greatest ever players. Oh, yeah. Nick Paul made some great saves as well, but they got to take a chance for that pen. I mean, Eddie bit them in the backside of the day. I'm just... Uh, listen, there's only so much I can say, you know. Um, the castle were great. Gave it a great go. And the pen that wasn't the pens cost the castle two points. So, but what else do you want me to say? Of course, I'm angry, so... We'll get the PSG Ultra Gear off. Uh, just to let you guys know, by the way, I'm Colton Sullen, a PSG beanie hat, PSG pair of gloves, PSG pair of pants. I'm keeping half off scoff, actually, but... I'm also um, also selling a PSG flag as well, so <laughs> uh, I'm not actually by the way, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this gear now, I'm not going to wear it again, so listen, it's all one done with now, it's happened, hope you guys enjoy it, heading back to uh, heading back to Newcastle tomorrow, so listen, we'll get back from France to enjoy it, so it was a great experience, if that is the last European away game this season, I did enjoy it, I enjoyed all three of them, not to be, but so nearly could have been.